Hello and welcome to the installation tutorial video for the landscape theme bundle from mintplugins.com. In this video, I'm going to walk you from start to finish through all the steps that you need to take to get this theme bundle set up. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go to mintplugins.com and click on my account at the top right. So we'll click on that and then it's going to load up the page where it shows all of our purchases and where we can download our receipt. The first thing that we want to do is look for the download files under your downloads and then we'll click on landscape theme bundle and that's going to download the files for this plugin and then we're going to click on view licenses under license keys and that's going to load up this page with all of our license keys and then under the key beside landscape theme bundle I'm going to click on the key and that's going to show the license key so I'm going to select it right click and say copy and now we're going to go and install this plugin onto our WordPress so let's go to our WordPress go to the dashboard and then under plugins on the left hand side I'm going to click add new and then at the top I'm going to click upload plugin and then choose file and then I'm going to browse to the directory on my computer where I download files and I'm going to select the zip file that we downloaded and click open and then I'm going to click install now and that's going to upload this plugin into our WordPress and now we'll click activate plugin and then it's going to load up this screen where we can enter in our license key which we've already copied so now we just right click and say paste and then we click complete installation and now it's going to install all of the add-on plugins that are needed for this theme bundle so you can see it's added all of the add-on plugins and now it's the installation has been successful so let's click view our new home page this is what our new home page now looks like so just like that it's automatically generated everything that needs to go onto our home page it's imported the images into our media library for us and it's set up the stack with all of the bricks in it for MP stacks and if we scroll down you can see we've got some nice parallax action happening our form fades in our about us section fades in so let's go through and start to customize this site so that it looks more like our own company rather than just you know your company name here let's change that first let's change your company name here so you'll notice when you hover over any section here if we if we hover over this section with our mouse you can see how it says edit this brick in the top left reorder in the bottom left add a new brick in the top right see how those pop up when we hover over a section each one of those sections is called a brick and they're all bricks in what we call a stack uh, so in order to open up any brick and edit the contents of that brick all we need to do is double click anywhere on the brick so I'm just gonna double click on this top brick and it's gonna pop open the brick editor and over here on the right hand side we can change the background so we can change the background image from that picture of the grass with the lawn mowers and stuff uh, we can change that to any image that we want just by uploading it here or we can change the background color we could remove the image entirely and just have a background color all of those options are up to you but because this is a pre-set up stack all of that is put in there for you and we can just leave it alone uh, I like the way that it looks so I'm just gonna leave it if we scroll down you can see that the first content type is set to be an image and that's because that's our logo image and that's that circular your logo here uh, so this is where you'd upload your own logo image and you would do that by clicking on this upload button and then it's gonna open up your media library and then you'll click on upload files and then upload your own logo and insert it underneath this you see that we have a text content type and there are two text areas in that content type so I'm gonna open up the first text area and scroll down a little bit and you can see that here is where it says your company name here so all we need to do is type in the name of our company so I might type in Phil's landscaping company here and that's where you'll type in your own company's name and if you want to increase the font size or decrease it or even change the font you can do that all right here change the color as well all of those options are easy to do without coding so it's just go ahead and play with it make it look the way that you want it to look it's very easy to do and that's about all that we need to do to change the top area so I'm gonna scroll back up and click on update and that's gonna update this brick and then refresh the page to show those changes that we've made so now you can see it says Phil's landscaping company so that's good we've now modified the first brick to make it our own so now I'll click on the our specialties button and that'll scroll us down to this second brick here uh, if we want to start to change up what some of these things say maybe we don't necessarily want to have this exact paragraph under lawn care uh, again we just double click on the brick to pop open the brick editor 
And now we can start to change what's in this brick. So you can see that the first content type for this brick is text and the second content type is features. And features are those things with the icon and then a title and a description. Uh, and so let's go through and change that first feature to change the, the paragraph from being what it is to what we might want it to say instead. So I'll open up the first feature as you can see and the feature title is Lawn Care. And then we have an icon that we've chosen. And if we want to change up that icon, all we do is we click on Select and it'll pop open this huge list of icons and we can scroll through and find something that we like for that. And if we don't like any of the icons that are there, we can actually change it to be a custom image by changing the feature icon type from icon to custom image. And then we can upload our own icon. So if you're good with icons or you have an icon that you'd like to use, just upload that icon here and it'll use that instead of one of the preset icons. I'm gonna leave it as it was and then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna change the feature text from being this paragraph to the paragraph that I want it to be. Uh, so if you have something more custom to say about the way that you maybe do lawn care, or maybe it's not even lawn care at all, maybe it's an entirely different thing, just start to type in what you want it to be. It's good to limit it to one or two sentences here because you don't want to overwhelm your users with text. The more text, the less chance that they'll actually read it all. So that's why we like to combine all of the features of our company into these little features with icons because it's easy for your users to digest that information quickly. Uh, so limit the text here as much as you can. And if you need to add more features, you can do that by opening up one of the last features or any feature. And then at the bottom of each feature, there's an add another button. And you can click that add another button to add as many features as you want. Just keep adding features keep creating a title and a short description for that title and say your company has you know 10 features it doesn't matter how many features you want to add it's there for you to do and it's very simple to do as well so that's how you change up the our specialties section so then I'll just click update and that's going to update this brick and refresh the page so that we can see the changes that we've made and now we'll scroll down here to the get a free quote brick uh, the same exact process applies for all bricks, really. If you know how to edit one brick, you know how to edit all bricks. So again, we just double click on this brick. It pops open the brick editor. And you can see that the first content type is text, which is that get a free quote here. If I pop open this text area, see how it says get a free quote. And then under that, we have a description in this other text area where it says fill out the form and we'll get back to you promptly. Oh, there's a spelling error there, so I'll change that back to you promptly to give you an estimated cost for your landscaping needs. So you can change that entirely as you need it to be. Feel free to change it up if you need to change the font or the text size or anything. And then under here, you can see that we've got the forms content type. And here's where we can customize this form to accept the information that we want to accept. So say you want to add more fields to the form. Maybe you have a specialty service that you provide and you need to get certain information from the client in order to do that. Maybe the length width of their lawn or something like that. It's very easy to add more form fields. So all we do is under form fields, we open that up and then we can open up one of the form fields and then scroll down to the bottom and we can click add another again. Let's say that we wanna add a length field to the form. So I'll say lawn length as the title and then we'll say enter the length of your lawn. And then I'll scroll down here and under field type, I'll change it to a single line text field. Under placeholder text, this is what's gonna appear in the text field before they start to type. So we could say your lawn length here. And then I'll leave the field width as 50% of the area that's available. And the placement I will leave as no other fields beside. And we can leave this field meta key blank and we'll add another and we'll call this one lawn width. And then under description, I'll say, enter your lawn's width. And I'll, again, I'll choose a single line text field. And now we've added a length and a width to this form. So I'll scroll up to the top and click update. And now it's gonna update our brick and refresh the page. You'll see that we've added our lawn length and our lawn width to the form. Now, if, because we set it to be 50%, you can see that it's actually half the width of what this text area above is. If we wanted it to stretch out and be as full wide as that one above, we would just set that to be 100% width. 
uh, if we wanted them to sit side by side like the name and email let's go ahead and do that make these two sit side by side so again we just double click on the brick and we scroll down to those fields and then under form fields we pop open the length scroll down to no other fields beside to side by side and we'll scroll down to our width and change it from no other fields beside to side by side Another thing that we need to do is make sure that it's actually less than 50% in order to make them work. So we're gonna change this to 49, and then we'll scroll back up to our length, and we'll change the field width to 49 as well. And now we've set them both to be 49%, so that there's a little bit of space in between, which is that 1% that's left over, and they'll sit side by side. Another thing that we wanna do is add some form security to make sure that all of the crazy spam robots that are out there on the internet don't come and start filling out this form and sending us a ton of spam. So we've built in a security feature which is called CAPTCHA. And you've probably heard of this before. It's where you type in all those crazy letters that you see in a picture. Um, Google's come out with a way simpler way to do this recently, which we've added to this. And it just involves your users clicking a checkbox. And they do a whole bunch of work to make sure that that's actually a human that clicked that checkbox and not a robot. So it's under form security here. And then under Google reCAPTCHA, and there are some options there. And if you have any struggle figuring out how to fill out those options, we have a whole video dedicated to that as well on our support page. So just go to mintplugins.com support, find the forms video, and it'll tell you step-by-step -step how to go through that. It's only about five minutes. So take the time to go through and do that. It's worth doing. And then last but not least, we need to figure out where this form is gonna go once it's submitted. We want it to probably go to our email address so that when we check our email, we can see, oh, somebody submitted a form to my website. So then under form submission actions, we're gonna pop that open and then we're gonna scroll down. And who do we want to send it to? Well, right now it's set to send to support at mintplugins.com. You probably want to change that to an email address that you can actually check. So I recommend typing in your own email address here so that you get this form when it is submitted. And then we'll scroll up to the top and click update. And then again, it's just going to update the brick and refresh the page. We'll scroll down to the form and you can see now we've got our lawn length and our lawn width here. So we'll scroll down to this next about us section again. If you've been following along with the tutorial this far, you probably already know how to edit these. These are features as well as the same under our specialty above. So again, you'll just double click and the brick editor will pop open and you'll be able to change these features. These features use custom images, which are these pictures here. If you wanna have your own pictures there, which is very likely that you do, you're gonna to wanna to upload a picture that is completely square. So it's as wide as it is high because this theme automatically turns your square pictures into circular pictures for you. But if you don't upload a square picture, you're gonna end up with an oval picture. So make sure that your pictures are completely square, that you've cropped them to be as wide as they are high, and then you'll end up with a perfectly circular picture here. Uh, let's scroll down a little bit further here. This is the R Work Brick, and here you can add images to your slideshow or videos if you have a video for your company and you can add those again you just double click on the brick pop it open and put in the pictures or images that you want same goes for our contact us brick and then here you can see that we've got an oops you haven't entered an api key for google maps now if we go back to the demo on our website and we scroll down to the contact us area you'll see that just below we have a Google map here. In order to set that up, you need to do a digital handshake with Google. And basically what that is, is you're saying to Google, hey, we wanna pull some information from your maps and display them on our website. And Google goes, cool, I know who you are and I'll send that to you. It's really simple to do and there's some steps right in the brick for you. So all you need to do is find the brick, double click on it and it'll pop open the brick editor. And then we'll scroll down to the Google Maps content type and you'll see that there are a few steps here and these only take about five minutes so it's really easy to go through and follow and then you'll just paste in the api key that google gives you and then you'll also paste in the latitude and longitude for your company so that when the map opens it'll open to the spot where your company actually is and it'll be zoomed in right on your location and then if you scroll down a bit further there's a few other options for google maps here they're pretty straightforward, so just follow along with the steps that are seen there, and then your Google map will work as seen in the demo. 
And the same goes for our follow us brick. Again, you just double click to pop it open and you can change the URLs from each of these icons to point to your own social media pages. And you can also add tons of other social media icons as well if you use other social networks or upload your own icons if you're using a social network that hasn't been included in our icon pack. Uh, and then under our latest post, you'll see that there's actually a little error here as well. And the reason why that's happening is because we haven't done that digital handshake that we were talking about with Google for the maps, we also need to do that digital handshake for Instagram so that we can pull in our latest posts from Instagram. So if I flip over to the demo on our website and I scroll down to this Instagram brick, you'll see that it's pulling in the latest posts from my chosen Instagram account, which is actually one of my friend's landscaping companies. So we're pulling in all of his pictures on Instagram. In order to make this happen on your own website, which I highly recommend because it's a great feature to make your website stay current and up to date and to let people know that you're an active company doing stuff, I highly recommend using this Instagram feature. And all you need to do to make that happen is open up this brick and then we'll scroll down to the Instagram settings for the social grid and you'll see under social grid content type we have this notice. You are missing required information for Instagram. And so in order to make that happen, all you need to do is click on the this page icon and it's going to open up a new page. And there's a bunch of steps here to follow. If you have trouble with those steps, we have a video that walks you through those steps one by one and it goes more into depth. But again, it only takes about five to 10 minutes total to do this. And if you run into any trouble, feel free to email us at support at mintplugins.com and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Or you can follow along with that video and the steps are pretty straightforward as well. And once you have that going, we'll fill out our feeds. So under feeds here, We'll scroll down and then under Instagram, we'll say that we want to show users posts. And then here we type in the username of our Instagram account. So you just type in your username for Instagram, scroll up and click update. And then all of your Instagram pictures will automatically pull from your Instagram feed into your website. So if you're at a job site and you want to post a picture of what you're doing that day, you just pull out your phone, take a picture and boom, it's on your website. You don't even have to update anything through WordPress. So that is the landscape theme bundle from mintplugins.com and the initial basic setup. If you have any trouble, as I said, feel free to email us at support at mintplugins.com and we'll be happy to walk you through any of the problems that you're having. So I hope that this bundle does great things for your company.